Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Midland Civic Arena. It is ice hockey time on MCTV and MPS television. Alongside Mike Vesna, my name is Jason Harper, and Mike, tonight, it's the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers in meeting number one of their two regularly scheduled meetings here at the Civic Arena. The Chargers and the Chemics playing early in this season this time around. Dow High coming in three and one, Midland High coming in two and one. We've got two very evenly matched up teams. Yeah, and even by the teams that have been playing, they've been very similar scores. So, I mean, on paper, this couldn't get any closer. Right now it's going to be, you know, who plays the most aggressive, Stay smart, stays out of the penalty box, and can, you know, basically put the puck in the net. Absolutely. The Dow High Chargers coming in under head coach Dick Blasey Jr., and this is a Dow High team that has been playing a lot of close games. They played four games, all but one of those games right down to the wire. We're talking last second shots, last minute opportunities. The Dow High Chargers able to come out on top in three of those four games. They're coming off a big win up north in Alpena. This is a Dow High team that has a lot of potential. A lot of potential, and they're starting to play with more confidence, too, than they have, like, in the last year. They were kind of, you know, young and learning. But right now, as the season grows, their confidence is growing, and I think that they're going to be ready for tonight. The Midland High Chemics coming in 2-1 and one under head coach Jeff Brown. This is a very young Midland High team. They've got 10 players new to Midland High, and Jeff Brown was uh, very honest when we talked to him before the game. This is a Midland High team going through a little bit of growing pains. They were off to a rough start, but they're beginning to get things together. Well, they definitely are going to get it together as the season progresses because they are strong hockey players. The biggest thing with them is they got to find out their identity. They graduated a lot of their talent last year, so they're having new guys that are important, you know, stepping up and, and, and being the leaders that they need to be. And as you know, Vesey, when you've got uh, the Kimmicks and the Chargers, you know, it's early in the season for records. Don't mean a whole lot right now in, in any case, but when you got the Kimmicks and the Chargers meeting on the ice, records really aren't important. The, these players know each other. They've played with each other and against each other for years and years. Every Everybody knows everybody, and there's a lot of competitiveness when these two teams play. Well, and that's the other factor to the game, too. It's like you got to play aggressive, but you also got to play within yourself. You know, you give, give in to the hype. You look at the students here right on the glass ready to pound. I mean, anybody that can play within themselves and stay focused, I think they're going to do all right. Yeah, the Dow High Charger fans having a lot of fun. They've even got a, uh, they brought a balloon. It's a, it's a concert atmosphere for the, uh, the Dow High Charger fans getting set for this contest here at the Midland Civic Arena. And we're getting set, Vesey, for what should be a great contest between the uh, Chargers and the Kimmicks. The captain's meeting with the officials at the center of the ice as we speak. And, uh, you know, the Bidland High Kimmicks, the Dow High Chargers, the last time they met, the Chargers pulled a little bit of an upset, knocking Midland out of the playoffs. You know that that is still on the mind of some of the Midland High faithful. Right now, we are going to turn things over momentarily to our public address announcer, Ron Williams. We'll meet the starting lineups, and we'll have our national anthem coming up. And then it's time to drop the puck. Ice hockey coming your way here on MPS TV and MCTV. We're glad you could be with us for all of the action as we begin our winter sports coverage here on MPS Television. The uh, team managers being put to work, putting away the uh, ice hockey pucks before the uh, start of this contest between the uh, Chemex and the Chargers. And right now, we are set to go to uh, the one and only good friend Ron Williams with tonight's starting lineups. Yeah. Yeah, it's there. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Midland Civic Arena and the 2012-2013 edition of Midland Chemic Hockey. Tonight, we welcome our friends and neighbors, the Chargers from Dow High School. Against, of course, your Midland Kemmings. Let's introduce our starting lineups for the Dow High Chargers at forward number 19, Matt Lee. At forward number 13, Zach Paisley. Number 14 at forward, Travis McNally. 
At defense, number 23, Mike Leslie. Defense, number eight, Stephen Roberts. And your goalie for tonight, number one, Derek Stryker. The Chargers are coached by head coach Dick Blasey, assisted by Troy Grunder and John Hollingsworth. For your Midland Kellys, at four, number seven, Ryan Singer. At forward, number 15, Scott Naples. Number 13 at forward, Steve Trombley. At defense, number 11, Anthony Moody. Defense, number 20, John Evans. And in goal to the right, four mechanics, number 30, Austin Kamiski. Kamiks are coached by head coach Jeff Brown, assisted by Jeff Richards, Dave Zach, and Tony Parapino. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we'd like for all of us to take a moment and recognize a the passing of one of the true friends of Midland Hockey. This past Monday marked the passing of Robert Zack. Bob was a teacher in the Midland Public School System for 31 years, and of course, could be found at the rink for many of those occasions. Let's all please observe a moment of silence for Robert Zack. Thank you. Bob's spirit lives on, the legacy lives on. Bob is the father of assistant coach Dave Zack of the Midland Chemics. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we'd like to introduce a special guest for this evening to sing tonight's national anthem. Recent Midland High graduate, Mary Sandow. Great job of our national anthem, and we are set to go with ice hockey here on MPS TV. The Midland High Chemics 
and the Dow High Chargers. And Vezzi, while we have a chance, we also want to send our condolences to the Zach family. Bob Zach, I worked a mini a game in the uh, the penalty box with uh, with Bob, and I know that he, he was always a helping hand whenever we needed somebody to fill in on the Northwood crew. He would be available, so we definitely want to pass our condolences to uh, Dave and the Zach family. Absolutely. True hockey family right there. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family. Now the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers getting set to do battle here at the Midland Civic Arena. And uh, the crowd is getting uh, set for this game. And one of the changes that we have is that uh, we will be playing 17-minute periods and not 15-minute periods. Yeah, definitely something they've been uh, playing with the last few years and looks like something that's going to take a hold. The face-off, and it will be won by the Midland High Chemics. Midland High in their home white uniforms. Dow High in the green and white uniforms for this contest. Dow High trying to wrestle away the puck on the board. The Chargers able to come up with the steal, but Midland High doing a nice job keeping it in. Scott Naples will try to get a shot in. Now the Dow High Chargers recover. Chargers will work back the other way before Midland High Steve Trombley will put it back into the Dow zone. Definitely going to do some quick line changes here, keep things fresh and th keep things rolling. The Dow High Chargers coming away with the puck in the first shot on goal by the Dow High Chargers was Zach Paisley that ends up getting the first shot. Midland High able to recover and they go back down across the center ice, across the blue line and Midland High will dump it back in with Shane Dunsmore, a sophomore. We mentioned in our pregame the Midland High Kimmicks with a lot of new skaters, 10 fresh faces wearing the blue and gold. Alex Goodwin, he's a senior, dumping it over to uh, Shane Dunsmore in the first stop made by Dow High goalie Derek Stryker. Yeah, definitely saw the opening, took the shot on goal. Got to do a little better job getting some bodies in front of Stryker there because if he sees it, he's going to save it more times than not. And the Dow High Chargers, Derek Stryker had a great season last year, and he's off to a great start in net for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High countering with the senior goalie, Austin Comiskey. Midland High has used a couple of different goalies early on this season. Comiskey, the senior, getting the nod here tonight. Right now, Quinn Lines, the senior, keeping it in the Dow High zone for the Midland High Kimmicks. Dow High trying to break free, but Yoon Dong Wong, a sophomore, keeps it in play. Centering pass, looking for Wong, and the shot blocked by Stryker. Rebound is no good as well. Forrest Parsh, the senior, trying to put it in. Derek Stryker being tested early by the Midland High Kimmix. Not sure how that did not find its way to the back of the net. Little lady luck there, I think. A little deflection, but great scoring opportunity. A hand pass is going to be called, which will give both teams a chance to change lines as we are off and running with this Midland High, Dow High showdown. The hand pass will force the faceoff to go to the right-hand side of Midland High goalie Austin Comiskey. Yep, first time down in uh, front of Comiskey. We'll see what they do on the draw. Dow High, Travis McNeely coming away with the puck. He swings around a shot, which is blocked by a defenseman. Ryan Singer will clear it for the Midland High Kimmicks. Midland putting three pressing, but Dow High able to have the ice in neutral zone, and now the Chargers coming forward. Zach Paisley, he's a junior, will drop it off to the right-hand side of Comiskey. Dow High looking to center to the blue line to Matt Lee. Lee trying to force it inside. Midland High will clear it into the uh, Kimmick bench, so the faceoff will stay down in the Midland High zone. Yep, not a bad play. Things getting a little, uh, a little scary down there. Dow taking control of that little segment. You know, throw it high off the glass. If you get a whistle, so be it. Regroup. Start over. We've played just over two minutes here in the first period. High school hockey on MPS Channel 98. Midland High winning the faceoff in their own zone. They'll bring it into neutral ice. Midland High's Shane Dunsmore controls it. Looks for a centering pass. He was looking for Elliot Diggison, but it was blocked away by a Dow High defender. Diggison will keep it in play over to Nick Aid. Aid is a senior, drops it back behind to Dunsmore. Back behind the net, Midland High's Thomas Smith, a senior, looking for a centering pass. The swing around by Diggison will, won't get through the Dow High defenders. Up against the board, Chargers looking to clear it out. They still haven't been unable to get across the blue line. Now they do, and it's dropped back into the Midland High zone by Brett Brillhart. Davis Mahalan working the puck. Nice centering pass, open shot, and 
a nice save. Kamiski down on his knees, blocking the Charger shot. Line change for Dow High allows the Midland High Kimmix to drop it in a neutral zone. Icing waved off, so the Dow High defenders will play it. We're at the 13-30 mark here in a scoreless first period. Midland High's defensemen looking to get it back into neutral ice. They do so. They drop it ahead to Yundong Wong. Wong will work it down into the boards for the Midland High Kimmix. Quinn Lines will have the puck wrestled away by a Dow defender. Chargers looking to come back the other way. They've got a skater ahead. It's skated across the blue line by Travis McNally. McNally's shot will go wide of Kamiski. Cleared all the way down and back into the Dow High zone. The Chargers look to clear it into neutral ice. Your feelings, Vesey, here in the opening three or four minutes of this game. Well, right now, Midland High is doing a great job of forechecking, keeping the puck inside the defensive zone of the Chargers right now. Dow is going to have to do a little bit better job getting the puck out so they can uh, get a little more attack on the Chemex. Into the Dow High zone it goes. Scott Naples with a shot that goes left of Derek Stryker. Midland keeping it in that Dow High zone. Check against the board ends up uh, missing his target, but Midland High keeping that puck down, and we've got a whistle and another hand pass. That is the second hand pass called early against the Midland High Chemex. Yeah, you normally don't see one a game. And we've got a little bit of pushing and shoving going on down. Scott Naples getting into it with a couple of the Midland High players. Now I'm guessing these officials don't know the Midland Dow rivalry too well. Nothing harmless. They both skated. They all skated out of the zone, and they weren't done talking about that last play. Yeah, Brett Brillhard and uh, Ethan Loftus talking things over. And you're right, the official skated away, left a uh, potentially dangerous situation going on. The peacekeepers. 12-20 to play here in the first period. No score. Kimmix on a fast break. Scott Naples across the blue line. His shot deflected by the defenseman, Mike Leslie. Yeah, Scotty should have done a little bit better job aggressively taking the zone right there. Pretty much Konskiti was just going to shoot. Put his head down and grind that thing in. You had a three on two going. Came away with the deflected shot into the corner. Glad you could be with us. Early going ice hockey action. Jason Harper along with Northwood hockey coach Mike Vesna and a crew of MCTV volunteers all working hard to bring you this contest. Nice shot taken was wide of the net by Alex Goodwin. And now a foot race to try to get down to the Midland High zone. It'll be won by the Midland High gimmicks. Diggison trying to clear it out for Midland High. Working across the near boards into neutral ice. Midland High across the blue line. Another scoring chance for the Kimmicks. Great skip stick work and the backhand shot unsuccessful. The rebound shot blocked by Stryker. Both Elliot, Elliot Dickerson and Thomas Smith had great opportunities for a goal. Derek Stryker standing strong and an offsides call will bring a stoppage to this game. Well, I tell you what, he did everything right, right up to the end where he couldn't pull the trigger. Just didn't quite get a good quality shot off right there. A couple good plays, showed some good patience. Sooner or later, you just got to put that puck on net. Yeah, Diggerson had some great stick work, working that puck all the way down against Stryker. 11 and a half minutes to play here in the first period. No score. Midland High, Thomas Smith gets a shot. Stryker with the block. Midland High leading the shots on goal. The Kimmix very aggressive here in the early going. Another shot by Smith. Stryker will have to cover it up. Yeah, Stryker seeing that puck all the way. Made the good save. You never know. You get a, a rebound right there. Good job by crashing the net by uh, 16, uh, Shane Dunsmore. You know, if that puck bounces out, he's right there to put it home. Now the Dow High Chargers averaging 35 shots per game, but, and they have outshot their opponents every game, but here in the first period early on, it's Midland High controlling the shots. Midland High has played a lot of hockey in the Dow High zone. There's a centering pass to Wong. Wong can't get the shot to go. Rebound shot is no good by Smith. And the Dow High Chargers continue to have trouble. They finally clear it down into the neutral ice, dropping it into the Midland High zone. Well, Mid Midland working on the backhand rather than the forehand, or else that might have been a goal. Dow High looking to set something up. Mike Leslie by the blue line will dump it back for the Dow High Chargers. Now working over to Sully McMahon. Centering pass, but nobody was there for the Chargers. Leslie will just drop it back behind the net. Now working over to McMahon. McMahon gets knocked down hard. A great block by the Midland High Kimmicks and the Dow High Chargers losing a puck out of the zone. Tony Moody with a good step up and a good dump right there. 
First seven minutes of this contest has belonged to the Midland High Kimmicks, but we are scoreless here in the first period. John Evans, a sophomore defenseman, looks to clear things out, and they do. They will sit it all the way down the ice, and we will have our first icing call, stopping the clock at 10.03 here in the first period. High school hockey on MPS television, and you can watch this contest Thursday, December 13th through Saturday, December 15th, 11 o'clock in the morning and 9.30 at night, and then December 16th through December 21st, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 9.30 at night. You can also view it online at the MPS website. Your chance to check out high school hockey on MPS television. Dow High looking to come back across the center. And again, Dow High just dropping it back behind the net. They've done that several times here in the opening period. Yeah, they're just trying to get the puck down low and try to make something happen. Midland's doing a very nice job of transitioning right out of the zone. Only one shot on goal for the Dow High Chargers in a foot race. Nice job there by Steve Trombley. And then a great stop by Derek Stryker as Ryan Singer let one fly for the Midland High Chemics. And Derek Stryker, I'm not sure he saw that, but he saw enough of it to make the save. Well, he's definitely coming up big early for the Chargers right now where they weathered the storm that the Chemics are throwing at him. I tell you what, they're going to need to get some bodies in front of Derek, make sure he doesn't see that puck coming in if they want to get one by. Dow High with a break opportunity. Loftus trying to skate across the center, and he loses the handle. Loftus trying to dump it back through it. A good hard hit by the Midland High Chemics. And we'll have icing that will stop things down. But Midland High right now not only leading in the shots on goal, Vesey, but they're also leading in the checks. Yeah, I, I, Coach Blazy is definitely going to want his team to kick it in a little bit right now. They just seem to be playing a little conservative. They're not really aggressive on the forecheck, and they're really not breaking out too well right now. But I tell you what, they've had a couple good scoring opportunities, and it just takes one to put the puck in. Nine minutes to play here in the opening period. At center ice, the Midland High Kimmicks trying to get it across. A delayed offsides call, so Midland could not play the puck, and Dow High will look to take advantage of it. Austin Kamiski, the senior in net for the Midland High Chemics, has only been tested a couple of times. But as you mentioned, the Dow High Chargers, a team that able to score quickly when they have to. Midland High will have the puck wrestled away. Travis McNally coming up with the steal at center ice. Line change by the Dow High Chargers, and the Midland High Chemics will... Look to drop into the Dow High zone, but the Chargers defenseman able to put it back in. And now Dow High on the move with Matt Lee coming across. He drops it back looking for McNally. And Kamiski drops to his knees. Puck doesn't get to him. Puck now behind the net. Skating it in. And there it is. Austin Kamiski got cheating a little bit to the left, thinking the puck was coming around. Deflection, it comes back out the other way. Kind of an easy tap in. Travis McNally will tap it in for the Dow High Chargers at the 8-14 mark. And as you mentioned, Kamiski lost where it was. McNally taps it in, and the Charger fans celebrating the first goal of this contest. Yeah, it definitely doesn't matter how many shots you take. It's how many quality chances you get. And let's take a look at the goal. Yeah, you can see how the puck's starting to go around behind the net. Kamiski starts cheating a little bit to the left, a little deflection. Boom, right out front. Never really had a chance after he lost sight of that puck. Travis McNally with the goal for the Dow High Chargers. Just over eight minutes to play here in the first period. The Dow High Charger goal was scored at, by number 14. The Dow High Chargers. McNally. Here they come again. Chargers with, with Rico Angel trying to center it up. And, a scoring chance for Sully McMahon there moments away from the blue line shot taken by the Chargers and a stop made by Kamiski. I tell you, what I definitely like what I'm seeing right now is that when Dow High takes that shot on net, they've got somebody crashing that net quickly, trying to get that second opportunity. Almost had two great opportunities right there for the second goal. Well, the first half of the first period, Dow High was quiet, but the Chargers, they've got a little bit in their step right now after the McNally goal kind of sparked Dow High a little bit, and now they're on the attack again. Backhand shot blocked by Kamiski. Chargers maintaining it. McNally working into the corner. Midland High able to come away with the steal. They clear it out, and icing is going to bring it back to the left-hand side of Kamiski. Well, definitely the... 
when you get a team that's just peppering the net, peppering the net, control and play, control and play, the great equalizer, score a goal and put yourself back. Now Midland High is going to have to play with a little more uh, tenacity, see if they can get one by uh, Stryker. Yeah, great job by the Dow High Chargers. Dow High leading one to nothing. Last time these two teams met, Chargers came away with a little bit of an upset victory. I don't think it'd be an upset tonight to see the Chargers win. Both of these teams fairly even in the Saginaw Valley. And speaking of the Saginaw Valley, this is a non-league contest, Vesey, because the Valley now, including seven teams, they were down to, uh, to five, but with the addition of uh, Flint Powers and uh, Flushing joining the team, Davison joining the Valley, and all of a sudden we've got seven teams in the Saginaw Valley. This is a non-league contest. It's always good to have more teams to play. Midland High with the puck. Shane Dunsmore, a sophomore, working into the boards. Dow High's defense trying to clear it out. Kept in play by Tony Moody. Moody has his shot blocked by Stryker. The Dow High Chargers will clear it out. Exactly what I'm talking about, though. You've got to get in front of Stryker, screen him a little bit so he can't see it. If he sees it, chances are the puck's going into the corner. Six and a half minutes to play here in the first period. Dow leading one to nothing. Kimmich looking for a break opportunity. Dunsmore can't hold on to it. Knocked away by Sam Bruchaber for the Dow High Chargers. Dow with a line change. Midland will try to regroup and work it down into the zone, and nobody could get to it in time. So Dow High behind their own net will look to clear things out. The puck at neutral ice. Nice play there by Thomas Smith. Smith one on one. Can't come up with a shot. Nice defense by Andrew Brookins, knocking that puck away by, from Smith. Yep, one too many moves. Sometimes you just got to put the puck on net and see what happens. Midland High, Nick Aid, the senior, dumping it on down to Quinn Lines. Lines will have it knocked away by the Dow High defenders. Puck now in neutral ice with Alex Goodwin. Goodwin centers it up to Jacob Coffey. Coffey will drop it down over to Lines. Lines in a foot race, and he'll be hit into the boards by the Dow High Chargers. Good defensive play by Travis McNally, doing it both offensively and defensively, and now McNally will skate it across the blue line for the Chargers. Shot on goal, Comiskey coming up with a save. Dow doing a much better job right now, breaking out of their own zone, creating scoring opportunities at the other end. Good hard hit into the boards. We've seen a few good hits here tonight in this contest. Good clean hits too, Absolutely. the way hockey should be. Five minutes to play here in the first period. One nothing, Dow High leads. Midland High looking to get it out of their zone. They do just briefly and a good hard hit into the board by Dow High's Mike Leslie. Midland able to recover, working down his Trombley. Trombley with the shot, but it's deflected by a Dow High defender. Dow High looking to clear it out, unable to do so. Naples will keep it in play for the Midland High Kibbets. Trombley working it across. Now Dow High comes up with a clear, and Stephen Roberts looking to forward it ahead. Shot is no good. I thought we were going to see our first uh, penalty there as I thought Roberts was interfered with. No call from the officials. Midland High will come back the other direction. Roberts this time will steal it back away by the Chargers. The action picking up, nope. and now we've got a penalty. We're going to have a roughing call. And it's going to go against the Midland High Chemex as Ryan Singer will find his way into the penalty box. I didn't see the uh, the roughing call, but uh, I thought they missed an interference call. Well, sometimes you find the equalizer at the other end. If you see something that wasn't called that should have been, sometimes they look a little harder. So roughing will give the Dow High Chargers the first power play of the game with 4.13 to yeah, play yeah, here yeah. in the first period. Ryan Singer I'm and the penalty seven, box on the roughing call. Two shot from the blue line, got through all the way to Comiskey. Now the backhand shot, another backhand opportunity for Dow. Comiskey able to come up with the save. I believe that was Zach Paisley that had a golden chance at the backhand. Unsuccessful. Comiskey, great job diving back across and stopping that. Great vision on that one right there. About 90 seconds left in the Dow High power play. Midland High will clear the puck all the way down into the Dow High zone. They do a quick one-man line change in the Dow High Chargers with the man advantage skating across the blue line. Matt Lee can't quite get it, but he hands it off over to Travis McNally. McNally looking to center things up, but it was knocked away by Thomas Smith. Midland High again able to clear the puck down into the Dow High end where Derek Stryker will 
handed off to his player. Now high across center ice. Nice job there. Paisley across the blue line, and Kamiski coming up with the glove save. Yeah, good penalty kill so far for the middle of the Chemics. Every chance the uh, Chargers have shown, they've been able to ice it down. Right now, the Chargers got to try to slow it down a little bit, spread out. They seem to be trying to push everything through the middle, work the outside a little bit, see what happens. Just over three minutes to play in the first period. Dow High leading one to nothing. The Chargers on a power play for the next 50 seconds. Dow High looking to center it up. Another backhand chance. They were looking for a Bruce Shaper across the middle. Could not come up with it. Back into the corner. Dow High doing a nice job. Came to get in play. Brett Brillhart looking to center up again. That time Davis Mahalan had a chance for a shot. But Kamiski come up with a save. Deflection there from the middle by Bruce Shaper. Unsuccessful as it goes to the left-hand side. Nice screen and tip right there. 25 seconds left in the power play. The Midland High Kimmicks able to clear it out. The Dow High Chargers will have to regroup for one more power play run. Mahalan skates it across the blue line. Shot in a glove save by Kamiski. Yep, saw it all the way. Easy save. Time to get some fresh legs on the ice. 11 seconds left in the power play. Faceoff's the key right now. Midland High, you got to win this draw back. Ice her down one last time. Dow, try to win it back. Get one more scoring opportunity. The faceoff will be to the left-hand side of senior goalie Kamiski. The Midland High Kimmicks able to win the, the faceoff. They clear it out, which should kill the power play, but a short-handed chance for the Midland High Kimmicks. Elliot Dickerson waiting for other players to skate down. The penalty is over. Kimmicks back to full strength with two minutes to play and a nice shot from the corner. The puck laying on the, uh, the blue part right in front of Tarek Stryker. That, that puck kind of sat in the crease for a little bit. I'm not sure anybody knew where it was. Well, I tell you, what happened for a Dow's goal almost happened for a Midland goal. Thomas Smith heading one way, hits the brakes, tries to wrap around the other. Just didn't quite get her tucked around. The faceoff this time to the right of Derek Stryker, just a junior in his second year, and Stryker stops another shot. Stryker had a great year as a sophomore. He still has a, another year for Dick Blasey and the Dow High Churchers, a top goalie indeed. Centering pass and unable to get a, a stick on it was Bruce Schaber and Kamiski able to cover things up. And again, a little bit of uh, some conversations going on after the whistle. Well, I think everybody realized what's at stake here right here now. And you got a minute and a half left before. Midland High would love to tie this thing up going into break. Dow High, obviously, would love to have that one goal lead. Nothing serious, just good hard hockey followed by good hard talking. And now the puck is loose and cleared out. Kamiski diving on top of it. Well, that got behind him. That was pretty dangerous. Well, it will be interesting. I don't think we're going to get the call, but it appeared to me that uh, one of the Midland High players knocked the net off of the uh, off of its base while Kamiski was still looking. I thought the puck was live when that was knocked off. Yeah, hard to tell for sure, but definitely when you're down there scrumming, net moves. Tough call by the official if he's going to make that. Dow High keeps it into the blue line. Looks to center things up. 90 seconds to play here in the first period. Behind the net, Dow High trying to keep things alive. Dow High's Brett Brillhart centers things up to the blue line once again. Dow High centering pass and Kamiski able to keep the puck in front of him. Kind of a turn of events. Uh, Dow High doing a good job keeping the puck in the zone. Midland High not being able to break it out as easy as they did in the first half of this period. Cole Smith did a good job keeping that puck alive and in the Midland High zone. We're down to a minute to play here in the opening period. Dow High leading one to nothing. Kimmick's able to clear it down. You mentioned uh, a great point, Vesey, that we are at a, a flip-flop. Midland controlled the first half of the period. Dow has controlled the second half. Chargers. At center ice, Millen High able to come out of a line change as Anthony Moody, the junior, with a shot, looked to center it up and goes wide to the right-hand side of Stryker. Down to 30 seconds, Dow High looking to clear things. Zach Paisley will have the puck wrestled away by Midland High's Forrest Parsh. 15 seconds to play. Midland High will have in the Dow High corner. Kimmich may be able to get one more shot if they can center things up. They do from the blue line on the left-hand side, but the shot doesn't get through the Dow High defense. 
Travis McNally with the save. Now Millen High coming up with the stop. Forrest Parsh looking for a backhand in the final seconds. And the first period comes to an end. A very exciting period number one of this high school hockey contest. And Vesey, the Dow High Chargers with a one to nothing lead off of a Travis McNally goal. But this is a, uh, a contest that, as anticipated, is anybody's ballgame. Well, definitely, you've seen, uh, you know, brilliant work out of both teams so far. Midland High, first half, Dow High, second half. You know, but for the most part, both teams show that they're here to play. Absolutely, this is what it's all about. Saginaw Valley Hockey, Kimmicks and the Chargers, every time they take the ice, it's excitement, and we definitely saw that. A lot of golden uh, opportunities for both teams. Derek Stryker and Austin Kamiski both playing very well in net. Kamiski gave up uh, one goal on about the third shot that was tested, but both goalies playing strong here in the first period. Oh, absolutely. You know, Stryker's seen the puck very well. You know, you're going to have to put a body in front of him and try to get some rebounds on him so that he can't see the puck is clean. Kamiski, you know, he's, he's fast back there. He's able to, to make up when the puck moves. If it wasn't for one little deflection behind the net coming out the other way, you know, we'd still be tied at zero. But as it is, Travis McNally putting the puck in the net to give the Dow High Chargers a one to nothing lead after one. You're watching High School Hockey on MP NPS TV Channel 98. We're glad you're with us. We're going to take a quick break, come back, and get ready for the second period. At the end of one, Chargers one, Kimmix nothing. We're back right after this. And we welcome you back to the Midland Civic Arena getting ready for period number two. The Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers with the Dow High Chargers on top. One to nothing in this contest. Jason Harper alongside Mike Vesna. A very entertaining first period. A very close first period between these two teams. The only goal in period number one, Vesey, came about halfway through the first period when the Dow High Chargers able to get on the board. And we're going to take a look at how this play developed. The Dow High Chargers scoring on uh, Travis McNally's shot, Vesey. Well, watch how the puck's going around behind the net. As you see the puck going around, uh, Kamiski starts cheating a, bit, a little bit to the left. Great job, just it bounces off the skate, brings it out front and puts it home. You know, it, it just goes to show that, you know, seven and a half minutes of total dominance by the Chemex, one break, you had a one goal lead, you had a brand new game. You know, we kind of thought shots were gonna be two to one, ends up Chargers out shooting the Chemex eight to seven that period. Yeah, Travis McNally getting the lone goal and the Dow High Chargers with a one to nothing lead as we get ready for the second period. And as you mentioned, Dow High out, shot, out shooting Midland High eight to seven, which is something the Dow High Chargers has done all season long. Dow High out shooting everybody that they have played. Although a slow start by the Dow High Chargers early ended up resulting in a, uh, a fast start in the second half of that first period because Dow High has a little bit of the momentum. Oh, absolutely. You know, you hear all the time, right place, right time. It's exactly how that goal was scored. Didn't quite happen at the other end. The Midland High Kimmick bench getting ready for this contest. And here we go. Team switching directions. Midland High will be going right to left. Dow High, however, winning the faceoff playing 17 minute periods. It's uh, something that is being tried by a few schools around the MHSAA. Officially, it is still a, a 15 minute uh, period situation, but a lot of schools are uh, testing the 17 and that is what they're doing in this non-league contest playing 17 minute periods. What are your thoughts, uh, Vesey? Uh, high school hockey, what do you think? 15, 17, 20, what should be the norm for high school hockey? Oh, I love 17. It just seems like the 15 goes so darn fast anymore, and it definitely, you know, keeps more tailing on the ice for longer periods. Midland High trying to center it up, and the Kimmicks keeping everything into the Dow High zone. And yep. when you're used to 20s, 15s just they're blink of the eye and they're gone. Absolutely, and you know that's the next level for a lot of these uh, you know players. If they go to the college level, all of a sudden you're up to a big you know 20-minute period as Dow High trying to win the foot race. Travis McNally trying to put on a, a burst of speed towards the end. 
unable to do so. Now Steve Trombley across the blue line for the Kimmich, and his shot ends up being deflected away by a Dalhai defenseman. And if you're going from high school hockey playing 15s to college hockey playing 20, that's a big jump. Oh, definitely. You know, and it's just a little bit faster at that level too. So, yeah, get him used to the 17s. Dow high shot taken by Zach Paisley ends up going high over top of Austin Kaminsky, the senior Midland High goalie. And a shot all the way from the red line, from the center line, Kaminsky had to put a glove on. Dow high looking to regroup. They get everybody back on sides and then dump it behind the Midland High net. Into the corner, kept in play, centering and deflected away by Midland. Yep, faster start for the Chargers this period. You know, answered the call, coming out with a little moment, momentum early. Midland icing the puck to try to regroup. And icing is the call, stopping the clock with 15.22 to play here in the second period. Chargers on top, one to nothing over the Midland High Kimmicks. This is the non-league contest. These two teams will meet in mid-February with the league contest on the line. And then the pre-regionals will also be held here in Midland at the Civic Arena, the final week in February. Seems a long time away, Vezzi, but the uh, sports season really has a, uh, a way of flying by. And the next thing you know, we're, we're talking, you know, softball and baseball. Oh, absolutely. Who would have thought we'd be talking Christmas? Now you're talking regionals. And, you know, before you know it, spring training. We have to talk about something. This is the only hockey that uh, we're able to see is a shot on goal all the way from the other side. Well, the viewership will be increased. Another icing call with the uh, NHL currently on hold as they try to sort things out. Uh, at least we know that there's going to be hockey here at the Civic Arena for uh, people to be entertained by, whether it be uh, amateur hockey by the uh, MAHL or Rather, it be high school hockey, several high schools playing here at the Civic Arena. And, of course, Northwood Hockey also calls the Civic Arena their home. Dow High from the blue line, shot taken by Mike Leslie, ends up being stopped by Comiskey. Austin Comiskey busy early here in the second period. They have kind of, kind of like a tale of the uh, different periods. Now, Tony Moody, the junior, centers up, off shot the it post. In. It goes right off the left-hand post. Moody with a great shot, but could not find the net. And what I like about that, it was a good quick shot. He got the zone, got the open lane, put it on net. Don't and give Stryker a chance to set up. Now it's cleared out. That was just uh, luck shining down on the Dow High Chargers. A great shot by Moody. Chargers now trying to keep it into the Midland High zone. Zach Paisley tried to backhand it, couldn't do it, so the Chargers will have to regroup. They control the puck as Davis Mahalan tries to work it across in the center. Now it's dropped in behind Kamiski, who will stop it and feed it off over to the Midland High Kimmicks. Travis McNally working. McNally gets it, or excuse me, that's uh, Yudong Wong, the sophomore that had it back. Uh, looking at the wrong roster. I knew there was a reason that didn't make sense. <laughs> Now the Midland High Kimmicks will clear it out with Forrest Parsh bringing it across the blue line. Parsh looking to center things up and can't do it if they work behind the net. Well, let's see if Midland High can get back on track with that aggressive forecheck they showed in the first half of that first period. But right now, the Chargers doing a good job of transitioning out of the zone. Midland High with Nick Aid sends it across the center line. Now it's dropped back again behind the net. Just under 13 minutes to play here in the second period. Dow High with a one to nothing lead. Chargers looking to clear it out, trying to get it away from their goalie, and they do. They'll clear it down, won't be icing, so a foot race by the Midland High Kimmicks, who wins it. Nick Aid will try to send it back the other direction. Now the Kimmicks with a little bit of a fast break. Steve Trombley skating around the left-hand side. Trombley around net, looks to bring it in, but it's blocked by Dow High's Andrew Healy. The junior defenseman able to come up with a stop. Midland High trying to clear people out of the middle. Couldn't do it. Aid shot ends up going wide. Yep. Centered back around the Midland High. Kimmicks able to keep possession. Good pressure, but they got to get those pucks on net. They just, you know, missing the net, wrap right on around. Dow High will clear it out. And a deflected shot will be steered to the left-hand side of Kamiski. 
And now we've got icing that will stop play at the 12 minute mark here in the second period. High school hockey on MPS TV, channel 98. Jason Harper, Mike Vesna, and a complete crew of volunteers. And also we want to give a shout out to the uh, concession stand, uh, Sandy Harris, Grant Helms, two terrific individuals that helped us out, uh, making sure that we were comfortable and ready for this broadcast. So our thanks to uh, Sandy and Grant making this uh, program possible. Behind the net of uh, striker Dow High attempting to clear things out a second time. Working into the corner, neither team really able to dominate here early. Now stolen away and a shot taken and deflected. Thomas Smith, the senior, with a shot on goal for the Midland High Kimmicks. Millen High's defensemen will keep Dow High's charging attack away. Across the blue line works the Midland High Kimmicks. Looking for Elliot Diggison. Diggison on the left-hand side looking and finding no place to go, so they'll clear it back in the other direction. We're six minutes into the second period. Dow High with a one to nothing lead as Midland High backhands it away across the blue line. Kimmicks looking ahead. Yes, Shot and a pass. goal. Thomas Smith just driving the net hard. Shane Dunsmore able to feed it up to him. And just a, a nice, simple redirect into the back of the net. Thomas Smith taking the great pass, as you mentioned, in the Midland High Kimmicks tying things up one to one here in the second period. You won't find a better pass than what we saw. Smith was cutting through right across the middle, and it was laid out perfectly for the Midland High Kimmicks. Well, Thomas Smith's been sniffing around that net all night and finally got a great pass and didn't make a mistake. And now Midland High coming right back with Wong working the puck over to Quinn Lines. Lines working things around behind the net of Derek Stryker. Puck is still loose, Midland High looking to center things up and Dow High able to clear things away. It sounds like Tony Moody started that whole play out with the pass to Shane Dunsmore. Shot by the Dow High Chargers, and Comiskey has to come up with the stop. Brett Brillhart getting a scoring chance, but Comiskey standing strong. Oh, definitely a great scoring opportunity. Well, you know, what better way to take back the momentum is to score yourself. But uh, fortunately for Comiskey, he had open lane, saw it all the way. Great pass by Dunsmore and Thomas Smith finishing the job. Midland High tying things up. It's now one to one with 10-15 to play here in the second period. Midland High working across the ice once again. Steve Trombley looking to center things up. Knocked away, Trombley recovers, feeds it to Ryan Singer. Singer cannot find the handle on it. The Chargers look to come back in the opposite direction. Across the center line, both teams now work. Dow High getting it in with Brillhart. Brillhart trying to skate in, but Midland High able to deflect it in the center. Behind the net, Midland High looking for the clear. Dow High trying to keep it into the Midland High zone. Now they do a nice job there by Rico Angel. Angel shot, and it's blocked by Kamiski. Rico had a great shot skating right up on top of Kamiski, but could not put it in. Big time save. Dow High coming back one more time. This time, Zach Paisley, his shot. Goes wide to the right-hand side. Midland High trying to bring in a line change, and they are able to steal things away. They were looking ahead, and it was deflected away. Now we have a delayed offside call, so the Midland High Kimmicks have to kind of give it up back to Dow High. Chargers are across with Steve Roberts on the blue line. His shot deflected to the right-hand side. Comiskey will cover it up. Roberts just could not get any mustard on that shot. Well, what we've got going on right now is a lot of turnovers in between the blue lines. And both turnovers both ways leading to some good scoring opportunities. The one on O's, the goalie's having to come up big. Nine minutes to play here in the second period. And the puck is deflected into the down high bench. So the face off will be to the right hand side of Kaminsky. And let's take a look, Vesey, at uh, what happened moments ago. And this is going to be the Midland High goal. Thomas Smith just crashed in the net hard, beat his defender. You know, as a defender, you got to try to stay with him, but Shane Dunsmore, that's a perfect pass, perfect finish. They don't write him up any better than that on the chalkboard, I tell you that. One-to-one one is where we stand. Chargers 
looking for the puck, but Thomas Smith comes away with a steal. Smith with the puck, still in control. His shot ends up going wide. He had a defender skating with him, but Smith comes back right back. Smith dropping it back, shot on gold. A kick save made by Stryker. Midland High, John Evans getting a shot. The sophomore trying again. The Bucks. Evans got the puck again. This time the shot is not going to get through. Blocked by a Dow High defender. Nice job there defensively. Brett Brohart has had a great second period. Davis Mahaland also playing hard, coming up with a stop for the Dow High Chargers defensively. Good hard hit, center of the ice. Elliot Dickerson knocking down Andrew Healy. Dickerson, good hard hit. There was no arm raised. And now a backhand shot goes wide to the net. Scoring chance for Thomas Smith comes up wide. Yeah, he's around that net all day. He's doing a good job, positioning himself for opportunities. Michael Lee had a great shot, a rebound opportunity for McNally, oh, but is able to here we go. save in a big hard head into the corner. Now this is what high school hockey uh, is all about, uh, a lot of intensity, and we've got a uh, broken goalie stick for the Dow High Chargers. Derek Stryker ends up having his stick broke. Don't see that happen very often. Not even sure how it happens. But uh, the, the first five minutes, just kind of feeling each other out. Now we're starting to see some good body checks. So far, everyone clean, good hits. And that's the great part about it. All of this, uh, only one penalty in this game so far. Everything is clean. Good hard-hitting contest, which is what you love to see in a hockey game. Sure does get the fans excited, doesn't it? Across the blue line, the Dow High Chargers trying to regroup and get something going. This game tied up one to one. Dow High scored halfway through the first period. Midland High scoring early here in the second. Midland High dumping it into the Dow High zone. Twin lines to Senior, tries to center it up. Chargers trying to come up with a steal. Puck in the middle, but Dow High's defense won't let that puck get anywhere near Derek Stryker. Now Zach Paisley works by, but he's double teamed, and Paisley just dumps it over as the Dow High Chargers hit a line change. Midland High will come back to center ice. Kimmix dropping it all the way to Stryker, a long shot on goal. Now Dow High recovers as or Midland High goes into a line change, and we're going to have an icing call as nobody able to play it. Midland High getting another hard hit. The well, Kimmich doing I, I, a great job checking. Not so sure that wasn't an interference right there if they catch it on camera. You've got the icing situation where the officials are looking at each other. If he touches that puck, icing's nullified. If he doesn't touch the puck, it's interference. They called icing. You figure it out. Well, isn't that funny? A couple of years ago, interference was a point of emphasis for officials, and we had, you know, 10 interference calls in a game. Now they've kind of... Uh, you know, let that slide by, and you don't see that called nearly as often as you did three, four years ago. No, they've definitely switched the, the emphasis from checking from behind and head hits, which for good reason. 6.20 to play, and we've got a stoppage here. I believe we had a Midland High player that was offsides. Must be an offsides. He wasn't sure on his call. We'll go with offsides. Kimmicks winning the faceoff. Tony Moody looks to clear it, and it ends up going into the Midland High bench. Yeah, definitely faceoffs very important. Midland High winning that and running right around. Dow High is going to have to man up a little bit better. Good shot there of Dick Blazy coaching the Dow High players on the bench. Which is still a fairly young team. I mean, last year they were really young. This year they've got a lot more maturity in them. They're still learning the systems and what they need to do. Playing real well here, though. Six minutes to play here in the second period. One to one between these two teams. And a good job defensively by Midland. But Dow High looking for a backhand. Zach Paisley tried to center it up. on able to do so. Now into the boards they go. And Midland will come out with the puck on to the other side. Steve Trombley looking to center it up. He was looking for Ryan Singer. Puck is still loose in front of the net. Scott Naples was looking for a chance, but it was knocked away by the Dow High defense. Yeah, good defensive play there coming back into the zone, picking up that third man in the zone, making sure he wasn't open for an open shot. At center ice, Dow High looks to drop it in, but Midland High coming away in their own zone, trying to clear it out. John Evans 
And he'll be, well, he won't be able to do so because the errant pass, now it does leave the zone. Dalhai had a chance to try to keep it in. As you mentioned, uh, right now it's kind of a battle being played in between the blue lines and a long shot on goal taken by Steve Roberts. And Kaminsky bobbled it a little bit, but there was nobody in front of the net to handle the rebound. So Kaminsky able to regroup and come up with the save. Yeah, that thing kind of must have knuckleballed or something because it sure did look like it hit him weird. 4.52 to play. Icing will bring things to a stop. One to one between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. High school hockey on MPS television. Jason Harper, Mike Vesna, and a whole crew of volunteers. And coming up in a little bit, we'll let you know how you can become a part of MCTV's crew. You can help out on sports productions. You can do your own show. You can help out on multiple other programming that goes on. It's all by the community, produced by you for you. The MCTV, a great place to uh, access television. And we'll let you know how you can do that coming up momentarily. From the blue line, shot taken by Alex Goodwin is deflected and saved by Stryker and a hit into the boards is going to draw the second penalty of the game. The Midland High Chemex will go to the box. Looks like a boarding call. Wasn't really able to see it with all the fans here blocking the corner, but well, not a very popular call by the Midland High fans, but boarding is going to be the second penalty of the game. This one is going to send Thomas Smith into the penalty box for Midland High. So the Chargers will be on their second power play. And uh, as we mentioned, it happened in uh, one of the corners that we were that were obstructed from. So unable to, to see the boarding, but we did hear it. We you were able to it. hear the hit. Off the faceoff, Kamiski has to cover up the puck. Dow High winning the faceoff and got a, a quick backhand shot by uh, Davis Mahalan. Yeah, good job by Goodwin, too, staying with this man, making sure he doesn't get a good clean shot. Dow High shot won't get by the Midland High defenders, and now the Chemex could come shorthanded. Here comes Steve Crombley, but it's knocked away. Brett Brillhart coming up for the Dow High Chargers. Now, Ethan Loftus looking across, was trying to find Bruce Schaber, unable to do so, but the Chargers keeping the puck on the far side. Shot is deflected, but it stays in play as it goes high off the glass. Into the corner, Midland High trying to wrestle that puck away, but Loftus trying to keep it in play for the Chargers. Now Midland High coming away with it briefly, and the Kimmicks able to clear it out. The play at center ice, and the puck goes into the Dow High bench. Sending Coach Blazy scurrying. Pretty good uh, move by Blazy there to get out of the way of that puck. Still got some speed. He hasn't shown dance moves like that since his wedding night. <laughs> 3.44 to play here in the second period. One to one. Chargers and Kimmix. Dow High on a power play for a minute and 15. Now let's see how the Chargers work this power play. They're doing a much better job working the outside, keeping things spread out. Dow High behind Kaminsky, centers it up and the shot goes wide. Great scoring chance for Zach Paisley. Definitely Chargers just shooting it wide. Chargers maintaining the puck, working it around. Mike Lee goes over to the far side in front of the Dow High fans. Lee looking for somebody cutting, can't find anybody. Now we'll dump it to McNally. McNally over to the blue line on the left-hand side. McNally will get it back. He'll skate in. The shot deflected away by a Midland High defender. McNally keeps it in play. 35 seconds in the Charger power play. McNally still with the puck, able to skate it in. Still in control. Shot taken there. A rebound by Paisley. Kamiski able to cover it up. Well, Dow doing a much better job on this power play opportunity than the first one. Working the gives and goes, keeping the puck around the outside. And on the right time, getting to the net, getting some shots on goal. Few scoring chances, but Kaminsky standing strong for the Midland High Kimmicks. 23 seconds remain in the power play. Faceoff is going to be won by the Chargers. Bruce Schaefer trying to keep it in. Midland High will clear it out. Chargers will look to regroup for one more run during this power play. Two-on-one on opportunity. Loftus centering pass knocked away. Loftus recovers and Charger goal. Seven seconds left in that penalty. Doing a great job attacking the zone. Had a two-one opportunity. Took it himself. 
Loftus, just a junior. Ethan Loftus able to uh, put the puck in the net. It was deflected away by a Midland High defender. And I think Kamiski thought the puck was going to end up being deflected. Next thing you know, Loftus was able to put it in. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, Loftus with a great individual er, uh, effort here. Bangs it off, gets it back, and just puts it home. Can't really tell how it beat Kamiski, but the bottom line, it ended up in the net. And the Dow High Chargers with the power play goal, making it 2-1. to one. Loftus getting his name in the uh, box score with the second Charger goal of the night. Big turnover. Knight with a shot right in front, Elliot Diggerson, and the shot deflected by Stryker into the net. A golden chance for Diggerson, who was unable to come up with the goal. Costly turnover, great shot. Stryker just getting enough of it to send it wide up into the net for a faceoff. 2.13 to play here in the second period. Dow High leading two to one. Midland High, another shot. This one goes wide and high. Millen High trying to recover again, and this one will deflect off of the ceiling. Davis Mahalan will get an assist on that Loftus goal for the Dow High Chargers. Yep, you know, I talk about never say die. A little deflection. We thought it was going to be so harmless. Next thing you know, he gets the puck back, puts it in the net. So Travis McNally with one goal in the first period. Ethan Loftus with the second Dow High goal. Making it two to one, Midland's lone goal came on uh, a shot by Thomas Smith earlier this period. In the corner, Dow High looking to clear things out, and they do. Icing waved off, and Comiskey will play this one and send it back into the neutral zone. Midland High Three coming on, on a break attempt. Travis McNally trying to center things up, deflected away. Nice job there by the Dow High Chargers. Good job clearing the front of the net by the Chargers. Going to get an odd man rush. Zach Paisley was looking for Travis McNally. McNally was unable to catch up with it. Had to chase it down into the boards. Dow High keeps it into the Midland High zone momentarily. Now the Kimmicks clear it. Dow High drops it back around the corner. Midland High will be the first one to the puck. Tony Moody will work it out back into the neutral zone. We've got a minute to play here in period number two. Dow High's Davis Mahalan on the right-hand side. His shot deflected by a Midland High defenseman. Hard into the board, the Midland High Kimmicks. Send it back the other way. Dow High quickly on defense. Steve Roberts will look to go into the neutral zone. Midland High trying to keep it into the Dow High zone. Can't do it. Chargers now working across with Roberts. Roberts in the corner. Roberts centering it up, and Midland High able to clear it out with 30 seconds to play here in the second period. Icing will be the call. But quickly, let's uh, tell you how you can become involved with MPS Television. If you want to become a part of the MCTV Volunteer Network, all you have to do is head to our next orientation. It will take place on Saturday, January 12th at 10 o'clock in the morning. To register, call 837-3474. The cost is $45, which includes your first year access fee. Become an MCTV volunteer. January the 12th is our next training date. 837-3474 for more information. Midland High with eight seconds to go, looking to clear it out. Midland High to Steve Trombley. Trombley with a shot that is wide of striker. And the second period ends up coming to an end. A lot uh, more goals this time around in the second period. Both teams with scoring chances, and both teams able to put the uh, puck in the net here in the second period. A hard-hitting period as the first period was as well. Dow High leading 2-1 to one after two, Vesey. Well, you definitely uh, are seeing momentum changes you know, throughout the whole game, nobody's really able to keep it much more than three or four minutes at a time that period. I thought the Chemex really had uh, the play going their way there for the longest time, and uh, Thomas Smith taking that boarding penalty kind of changed the events there. Yeah, we definitely uh, saw a lot more action in between the blue lines in the second period, but the power play making the difference as the Midland High Kimmick scored early in the period by Thomas Smith, but Ethan Loftus coming back with a power play goal to regain the lead for the Chargers. One period left here at the Midland Civic Arena. After two, it's the Dow High Chargers two, Midland High one. 
We'll be back with period number three right after this. And we welcome you back to the Midland Civic Arena ice hockey coverage. The first of two showdowns between the Midland High Kimmicks and the Dow High Charger. Jason Harper alongside Northwood hockey coach Mike Vesna. And as we get ready to start period number three, Dow High with a 2-1 to one lead. And the Dow High Chargers uh, with a little bit of momentum as we head into period number three. Well, without a doubt, right where they were going into the second period, you always love playing with that one goal lead, but it's also the most dangerous lead. You know, it, uh, Midland High is going to come up flying, I have a feeling. The game was tied up one-to-one -one until this happened. Ethan Loftus able to come around the corner and uh, score on a power play goal. That broke our one-to-one -one tie in the second period, giving Dow High the two-to-one advantage that they currently have. Well, definitely Loftus was just not going to be denied. Thought he lost the puck once, thought he was going to lose the puck again. Stayed right on it, put the puck on net, good things happen. That may be the understatement, but the overstatement as well. You put that puck on net, good things happen. How many times uh, have you uh, uttered that phrase in your uh, coaching career? Well, you know, so many times you see everybody wants to make that one more move to get a better teed up shot where the quicker shots keep the goalie off kilter. Nobody really knows what's going on. You know, quick shots are always the way to go. Now the Dow High Chargers with a two to one lead. Dow High wearing their Green uniforms with white across the center. Midland High wearing their home white uniforms with uh, gold on the sleeves. 17 minute periods being utilized in tonight's contest and we're underway here in period number three. Dow High with a two to one lead. Looking to come away with their second straight win over the Midland High Kimmicks. Both of these teams entering this game with similar records. Dow High three and one coming off a win against Alpena. Midland High 2-1 and one coming off a win uh, against Bay City and uh, both of these teams have uh, both one loss. Both of those losses to Saginaw Heritage both one goal game. So we definitely have a, uh, a situation where two teams are very similar and as evidenced 2-1 to one here in the third period. One break here, one break there. You know, the difference in the game. You know, the extra six minutes we play tonight might proved to be beneficial to the Chemics. Absolutely, this is something that is being tested to see if the uh, the coaches and the players like the 17-minute uh, periods as opposed to traditional 15-minute periods. The Dow High Chargers in the Midland High zone. Nice job keeping it into the blue line. Deflection shot and it's still laying there. Backhand and cleared out by Comiskey. That all started by Mike Leslie who had a great shot from the blue line couple of deflections later and Kamiski very lucky to uh, send that one to his side. Yeah, it's a very slow bouncy puck that's just hard to follow. Oop, looks like we got a hook going on here. We do, we have a hooking uh, call that uh, against the Dow High Chargers. So the first penalty of the game is going to send Brett Brillhart, the sophomore, into the uh, penalty box. First penalty against the Dow High Chargers. Now Dow High capitalized on the last Midland penalty to take the lead. We'll see if Midland can capitalize here as uh, Brohard called with a, uh, a hook that actually took place away from the puck. Yeah, absolutely. I did not see it happen at all and kind of in that dead zone of ours again. But uh, let's see what the Cummings can do. Midland High able to center onto the blue line. Elliot Dickerson and deflected away nicely by Steve Roberts. Cummings will look to keep things in. This is the first Midland High power play of the evening. Kimmick's looking to be pretty patient as they work behind the net of Derek Stryker. Centering it up to Thomas Smith, now stolen away. The Dow High Chargers will work it out of the their own zone and deflect it to Kaminsky. The Dow High Chargers able to get a line change during this power play. Chargers doing a good job playing the box, working that puck, working that cross pass. Dickerson. For the pass across the ice over to Steve Trombley. Trombley working it in the corner. Trombley centers it up now back to Dickerson. Dickerson across ice to the left-hand side. Looking across the middle for Smith, but Smith could not get a handle on it. It goes to the corner. Thomas Smith now with the puck. Smith centers it back across to Dickerson. Dickerson's shot deflected away by Zach Paisley. One minute remaining in the Midland High power play. Moody working it back into the corner to John Evans. Evans looking to center it back up. Elliot Dickerson on the right-hand side bounces it off the boards to Thomas Smith. 
Smith near the blue line will send it back over as they work into the corner. Tom Smith and it deflected away. Travis McNally tried to clear, but the Kimmicks able to keep it into the zone. 30 seconds left in the power play. Moody works it back to Smith. Smith's shot off the mark. Oh, yeah, Dickinson back door wide open, too. Midland High still keeping things alive on the power play. Working on the left-hand side, able to skate it in. Shot is deflected away. Davis Mahalan able to deflect things, and Dow High will clear it out, which should end up killing the power play. About five seconds left. Midland High trying to center it uh, to the center of the ice to try to clear things out a little bit. Now Elliot Dickerson skates it through. The power play is done. We're back to even strength with 14 minutes to play here in period number three. Dow High, Davis Mahalan was dropping back. He was looking for Sam Brushaber, but Brushaber lost his footing and was unable to be where Mahalan thought he was going to be. Alex Goodwin, the senior, ahead to Ryan Singer. Now briefly into Brillhart, but now stolen back away by Singer. Switching gears, Dow High working across. Davis Mahalan, another centering pass. It was slightly behind Brillhart. And the Midland High Kimmicks able to clear things away. Dow High leading by one here in the third period. Lots of time left to play. Dow High with a chance. Brillhart with a great move, avoids one person, but does not avoid the <laughs> second. He was hit hard. Sometimes you feel like you're one against the world there, even though it was one against two, but think, nice job. I think that was Nick Aid. Midland High now in the Dow High zone. Scott Naples trying to get a handle on the puck, can't do it, and Ethan Loftus will come back the other way. Loftus already with one goal, but denying the second one, John Evans deflects it for the Midland High Kimmix. 12.45 to play here in the third period. Two to one in favor of the Chargers. These two teams will meet again in the middle of February on a Friday night here at the Civic Arena. Part of a big Midland Dow week, that, which will also involve uh, boys basketball, girls basketball, and swimming. All the, uh, all the same week in the middle of February. That'll be an exciting week at the schools. Midland High working across the blue line. Elliot Dickerson looking to find somebody clear. And Derek Stryker nearly uh, deflected that one, but nearly did not see it. He was screened nicely by the Midland High Chemex. And now a shot by Thomas Smith goes up wow. high and off the net. Thomas Smith was inches away from putting that thing in the upper dome there in the net. Great individual effort. Almost a great shot. And that was coming off of uh, Thomas Smith doing a great job of screening Derek Stryker to give Diggerson a, a shot. Right, got the rebound off, fought it around. The face off to the left-hand side of Stryker. Shot taken by Goodwin is off net. Midland High trying to keep things in. Now Dow High will clear it out, coming back in the opposite direction with, with um, Michael Leslie and the deflection. The Comiskey comes up with a great save. Actually, that was Matt Lee that skated across and had a chance to give the Chargers a two-goal lead. Well, definitely a three-on-two opportunity. They try to put the puck on net. Goes wide of the net, but Lively Boards put that puck right back out front. Great opportunity. One goal. The only difference in this non-league contest between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Midland High, Quinn Lines. Lines looking across the middle, and a great shot there by Forrest Parsh, but it goes high over top of Stryker. You can definitely tell they're trying to avoid shooting the puck at Stryker, but got to dial it in just a little bit. Back the other way, Matt Lee will drop into the boards. Lee was looking for a possible rebound, but Midland High's defender able to cut him off. Dow High will keep the puck in the Midland High zone. Works it behind Austin Kamiski, the Midland High senior goalie. Kimmicks do clear it this time into neutral ice, and they drop it all the way down before going into their line change. Well, we'll see if Midland High can get that good forecheck they had in the first half of the first going. Oh, well, there's a steal, and Midland High Steve Trombley tried to skate it in after stealing the puck away, but was unsuccessful. Kimmicks back into the neutral ice. Dow High able to come away with it, and they will drop it back into the Midland High zone. 
Looking ahead, Ryan Singer on the left-hand side for the Kimmick centering pass too far ahead. Was looking for Jacob Coffey, the freshman, but the pass too far ahead. There's a shot taken by Singer that goes wide of the net. Dow High will clear it out, and Brett Brohart, I'm not sure that he saw Mahalan and uh, will end up an icing call, but Mahalan had a step on his defender, and I don't think Brohart saw him. No, that was about six inches away from a breakaway pass, but like you said, I think he just wanted to clear the puck and regroup. The Milholland almost with a prime opportunity to go up two. 10-17 to play here in the third period, two to one in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Chargers winning the faceoff, unable to get much control as the puck drops all the way down into the Midland High zone. Working into the boards, Dow High looks to center it up. Kept, just barely kept in play by Andrew Brookins, who sends it back behind the net. This time it's kept in play by Matt Lee and again he sends it behind the net. Chargers keeping it in the zone but unable to get any plays or any shots on goal. Now McNally was trying to skate it in but the puck ends up deflected away by Thomas Smith and Midland High will drop it into neutral ice. The Midland High Kimmick, Shane Dunsmore. Dunsmore skates in looking for a pass to Thomas Smith and that's deflected away by the Dow High Chargers. Midland had to wait momentarily to avoid being offsides, and that hesitation allows the Dow High Chargers to clear it back and have an icing call. Yeah, you definitely can use the icing to your advantage at times when you need to settle things down and, and uh, you know, just regroup a little bit. Midland High with a good attack there, but just nobody out front to put the puck home. 9.23 to play in this contest. Dow High 2, Midland High 1. Into the corner, Midland High Kimmicks clear it out to Anthony Moody. Now back into the corner again, this time Jacob Coffey behind the net looking for some place to go. Can't do it. Cleared back out again by Quinn Lines. Lines with no place to go. And a good hard oh. hit is going to draw a penalty. That was a good hard hit, but it was not a good hit as uh, we are going to have a Midland High power play momentarily, and it's going to come up right now. A boarding call. Yep, whenever you get your back to the check and you're about three, four feet off, you're going to get that call every time. Just trying to be aggressive, wasn't trying to hurt anybody, just you know, kind of wrong place, wrong time for the hit. So Steve Roberts will draw the penalty for the Dow High Chargers, second penalty against Dow. This has been a relatively clean game, only four penalties in this contest. Midland High on their second power play, looking to tie things up. Elliot Diggison, his shot goes off the off the glass. Thomas Smith looking to work it in. Striker with a save. Nobody there for the rebound. McNally tries to clear it out. Now it will be Michael Lee that does clear it out for the Dow High Chargers. Eight and a half minutes to play here in the third. 90 seconds left in the Midland High power play. Kimmix working across to Elliot Diggison. Diggison with a shot blocked by Dow High's Andrew Brookins. John Evans now behind the net for the Midland High Kimmix. Evans' this pass is deflected away, and Dow High able to clear it out. Well, unlike the first power play, the Kimmix were able to work that puck around pretty good in the first power play. Right now, Dow just deflecting it a little bit. Active sticks, as they say, keeping the puck cleared. Yeah, Chargers doing a good job trying to kill this penalty. On one minute remains. Now the puck ends up in front of the net and tried to clear by Dow, kept in by Midland. Chargers near the blue line, but Midland will come away with it. Thomas Smith skating up. His shot goes wide to the left of Stryker. Down to 40 seconds in the power play. Chargers still with the puck in the Dow high zone. Thomas Smith again works it, tries to center it up, and the shot goes wide to the right-hand side. Elliot Dickerson from the blue line. Shot doesn't get anywhere near, but the deflection attempt by Steve Trombley is blocked as well. And again, Millen High keeps the puck into the zone with 15 seconds remaining in the power play. Millen High centers it up to Anthony Moody. Moody's shot goes back. Deflection and a great stop by Stryker. The puck is still free. Not that time. Shot Not and that a goal. Time. Looks like Elliot Dickerson, right place, right time when that reflection goes out. Didn't make a mistake that time, buried it right in the back of the net. Nice job with the aggressive forecheck by Midland High, keeping that puck in the zone. 
that high just wasn't able to clear. Second power play goal of the game. This one for the Midland High Chemex as Elliot Dickerson left all by himself right in the center of the ice. And Dickerson able with a good hard shot, able to get it by Derek Stryker. And we are all tied up two to two with seven minutes to play here in the third period. Stryker had a great stop, but Dickerson was all by himself for that rebound chance. We're going to have another hand pass, I believe, uh, for the Midland High Chemex. Yep, looks like it. Elliot Dickerson getting the goal. Thomas Smith and Forrest Parsh with the rebound. Let's take a look at Dickerson's goal moments ago. Yeah, definitely. The, the puck kept alive, banging around a little bit. Pops right out to Dickerson, right spot, right time. Makes no mistake, just buries that puck in the net. One great save, but unable to get control of the puck, and that allowed Midland to get the shot. Elliot Dickerson ties things up with a power play goal. Two to two is where we stand in this contest. We figured it would be close, and this has been a great hockey game for both of these teams. Definitely momentum changes, uh, you know, goal leads back and forth. Like you said, just a great hockey game back and forth. Icing waved off, and the Dow High Chargers looking to regroup in center ice. They do so over to Steve Roberts, who dumps it in behind Austin Comiskey in net. Midland High able to clear it into neutral ice, and a great pass attempt there by Forrest Parsh. He was looking across the middle for Coffey, who got hung up a little bit, and as a result, Dow High able to clear it back in the other direction. Millen High wanted icing, icing not called, and now we're, we're going to have the icing way. the other direction. Didn't get the call one one, but that one they couldn't let go. 5:34 to play, Midland High, Dow High here in the third period. If you're just tuning in and want to watch this contest in its entirety, you can tune in on Thursday, December 13th through Saturday, December 15th. Showtime times 11 o'clock in the morning and 9:30 at night, and then Sunday, December 16th through Friday, December 21st. You can tune in 3 o'clock in the afternoon and 9.30 in the evening. Be sure to check out this program. We'll also be airing it throughout the holiday season here on MPS TV. And you can also watch this game online in a couple of weeks as well. 2-2, two to two, Kimmicks, Chargers, and Midland High coming back the other direction with a breakaway. Shane Dunsmore shot. And it's wide the left-hand side of Stryker. Yeah, Andrew Brookins doing a nice job keeping Dunsmore wide so he couldn't get out in front. Goodwin, his shot goes wide to the left-hand side as well for the Chemex. Now Anthony Moody, his shot goes back behind the net. Goodwin tries to keep it in play. Dow High coming up with the steal. Chargers on a little bit of a breakaway, working down the ice, and the shot goes wide to the right-hand side. Matt Lee, the junior, unable to find the net. Working the Dow High Chargers, but the Kimmix will clear it out. Yeah, ne neither team afraid to do the icing just to, you know, to regroup. You get a little tired, you can't get the puck out. Throw it down, take the icing. 4.42 to play in the game. No overtime in high school hockey until you get to the playoffs. So this is going to be uh, you know, a fight for the next uh, four and a half minutes to see if one of these teams can break that 2-2 tie. If not, there will be no overtime. The bonus six minutes we're in right now. That's right. So it's kind of like overtime. Although the Chemex didn't need it to tie it up. The Dow High Church, Millen High coming away with a breakaway. Aggressive play by Scott Naples. Looking ahead to Ryan Singer and Derek Stryker will set things up. And now a little pushing and shoving by Naples and Sully McMahon. McMahon took major exception to Naples, kind of giving him a shove uh, to, to clear things out. And Naples and McMahon kind of uh, exchanged pleasantries. And now we're ready to continue this game. Well, definitely strike a good job covering that puck, making sure things slow down. Face-off is going to be won by the Midland High Chemics, but cleared out quickly by the Dow High Chargers. A foot race is on, and coming out of net, Austin Kamiski knocks it away, so Mulholland could not get to it. Oh, I tell you what, the importance of the faceoff. Brohar shot, in. goal! I'm not sure Comiskey even saw this puck. Had a little deflection off a stick. 
Right to him. Brett Grillhart breaking the 2-2 tie. The Dow High fans celebrating with four minutes to play here in the third period as Brett Brillhard with a good, hard shot, and Dow High has a one-goal lead. Yep, he had defender screening uh, Comiskey right in front of him. Good, hard shot right on net. Let's take a look at this, Terry. <laughs> I called you Terry, let's take a look at this, Bessie. Yep, you notice right there, a little screen by Kaminsky. Once he saw where the puck was, it was too late. It was already in the back of the net. Three to two, Dow High with the lead. And now Austin Kaminsky out of the net a little bit. And Midland High very lucky that time around. And we've got a stoppage of play as the puck ends up uh, deflected away. Well, Stopping those, the clock at 3.45. The boards have not been kind to Comiskey down here in this corner. A lot of weird bounces off the boards, off the corners. Got to be ready. The Dow High Chargers scored the first goal of the game, and it's been back and forth ever since. Right now, Dow High leads. Midland High working across the blue line, but Chargers with good hustle to come back the other way. Paisley looking to clear things out, and Alex Goodwin with a hard hit. Midland High back into the zone. Nick Aid skating behind, looked to center it up, was looking for Dickerson, but Dickerson not there, and the Chargers will clear it out back into neutral ice. Another hard hit by Alex Goodwin. He's been getting the job done into the boards. Two good hits by Goodwin on this uh, line change. Puck bouncing a little funny right now for the Chemics. They just got to settle things down. They got three minutes left, see if they can tie this thing up. Dunsmore tried to center things up. He did get through to Stryker, but unsuccessful in coming up with a shot. Steve Roberts on the defense was not going to give a golden chance. Now a backhand right in front of Stryker, and the net comes off, and we've got all kinds of bodies flight over by Derek Stryker. The officials quickly trying to gain control as the Midland High Chemics crashing the net hard right in front of Stryker. Of course, the Chargers are going to protect their goalie, and... Uh, well, we are going to have a penalty called against the Chemics after all of this. Well, I'm curious to see, are they going to even this thing up or are they going to go one side? Well, Thomas Smith is in the penalty box for the Midland High Chemics. Jeff Brown is over uh, questioning and finding out if, if it's going to be uh, somebody coming in for Dow High as well, and it is. It does look like they're going to uh, even things out. They're going to send somebody into the penalty box from both sides. Well, and that's going to hurt the Chemics, though, because one of their leading scorers, Thomas Smith, in the box for two of the last 249. Well, Ethan Loftus is going to be the charger that goes into the penalty box, and he's already got one goal for the, for the Dow High Chargers. We'll wait to find out what the calls are going to be. 249 to play in the third period, and Fessy, we end up... I don't know, we got, we got two people in the penalty box, but... I didn't really see anything uh, over aggressive. Midland High was crashing the net hard. The Chargers protected their goalie, and you know there was a lot of pushing and shoving. But I'm not sure there was anything that uh, deserved either either player in the penalty box. Well, I, sometimes they let it go. Sometimes they say, "Hey, we're just going to keep this thing calm for the last two and a half." I agree. I mean, a, a good three-two game like now, let it be settled on the ice. And we still have a uh, pretty lengthy break here as the official is uh, talking things over with the uh, the press box crew. Well, and plus, they send the uh, faceoff all the way down from the Charger zone to the Kimmick zone. Which I don't understand that as well. Let's take a look at what happened as the, as the, uh, the Kimmicks come crashing trying to tie this game up. Well, definitely, you're going to protect your goalie. That's obviously rule number one. But as everybody crashes in... A lot of grabbing, a lot of, ooh, somebody's bringing the net around. Yeah, I guess I'm not really sure what they saw that I didn't. Yeah, again, I, I'm really, uh, you know, kind of surprised at, uh, at what was called there, but now there's also two Midland High players in the penalty box. Shane Dunsmore and Thomas Smith both went into the penalty box for the roughing call, and the Dow High Chargers have one person in the penalty box. That's Ethan Loftus. So two of those penalties are going to offset. There's two minutes that are on the board for the Midland High Chemics. So Dow High will have a advantage. 
And we have a uh, we have the Dow High Chargers utilizing a timeout, so we take a look again, Vesey, at the Midland High Chemex. See if we can find Thomas Smith and why he appears to have got an extra two minutes during this altercation. Here he is right in front. Just bird dogging up, that's Dickinson. We got the angle. Right, and the, the Dow High Chargers. Thomas he, Smith he down here in the corner. In. You're right. Now let's watch and see if he comes out of the corner after the scrum's already taken place. Now, Dow High is the one that the, the reason the net went. All right, Thomas comes in and gives a little bit of a shove. Okay, now they you got the one penalty. Right, and we got uh, Loftus that retaliated with the uh, and then a they got Smitty the uh, shot. skating away. So not sure why the extra two if that what the call was. But nonetheless, for two of the next 249, Chargers on the power play. Well, an awesome job by our MPS and MCTV camera crew slowing things down so we could see just what happened during their awesome job by the guys in the truck and the uh, men and women on the camera doing a terrific job here on a volunteer basis. And right now, the Midland High Chemics trying to center it up. It is a power play for the Dow High Chargers for the next 90 seconds. Two Midland High players went in the penalty box for roughing. One went in for the Dow High Chargers, so it's just a one-man advantage right now for Dow High. Two minutes to play here in the third period. Skating across center ice, the Dow High Chargers, the one-man advantage, looking to skate around Comiskey. Going all over the ice, looking to come up with the clear lane. Shot taken by Steve Roberts, deflected away by Midland, and now Steve Trombley from the blue line, striker, kick save, rebound, shot goes wide. Ryan Singer unable to get the rebound in the Chargers with a three-on-one advantage. Crossing the blue line, and the puck deflected away from Travis McNally. Nice job, bag checking by Dickinson there to make sure that three-on-one goes into the corner harmless. 90 seconds to play in the game, 40 seconds left in the power play. Shot won't get through, rebound, Kamiski covers it up. Big save right there, keeping things alive. Minute 24 left, Kemmerich's going to have to start taking a few more risks here, trying to tie this thing up. Dow High took the lead on a Brett Brillhart goal. It is 3-2, to two, and we've got the Chargers that uh, need to send the right personnel back out onto the ice. This is uh, something that may be a little bit confusing, Vessi, that you can quickly explain of uh, why the officials keep such a close eye on who's supposed to be on the ice when the whistle blows. Well, definitely, if you can trap somebody who's tired out there, you want to keep them out there on that ice, not let them slow the game down. From the blue line, looking to take a shot as Brillhart and steady bounces it to his partner, and a shot taken there by Davis Mahalan goes to the left-hand side. Chargers still in control of the puck. 20 seconds left in the power play. Mahalan loses the handle. Midland High with the steal. They come back across. The Chemex, Forrest Parsh, working, trying to get on net, and Whoa. he gets hit hard from Brett Brillhard. No penalty, but Forrest Parsh ends up going down hard, hit the corner of the net, and also hit the board. Eight seconds left in the penalty. Let's see what they do. 55 seconds left in the game. Now the faceoff is going to be to the right hand or to the left hand side of Dow High goalie Derek Stryker. No overtime. Midland High wants to tie it up and potentially end up with a tie. The Dow High Chargers looking to come away with a one goal lead. Midland High shot taken by Diggison is way off the mark. Kimmich Moody will keep it in play, but now Dow High comes up with a steal. The power play is over. It's even strength. And they got for Smith both of back on teams. the ice. Midland High pulling their goalie. Man advantage, empty net. Kimmich across the blue line. Dow High looks to clear things out. 30 seconds to play. Midland uh -oh. in neutral ice. There's an empty net. Dow High coming up with a steal, but Matt Lee cannot get the shot deflected. 25 seconds on the clock. Midland working down with Ryan Singer in the corner. Singer has the puck stolen away by Leslie. Leslie trying to trap it back into the corner. 15 seconds on the clock. Midland High clears it in front of the center. Midland back in. It's in! Oh! 11.3 seconds to go. Throw the puck on net. Nice rebound. I believe Thomas Smith put that one in the top shelf. I'm not sure on that. I think you're right. He comes out of the penalty box, redeems himself, ties this thing up at three. 
Let's take a look to see if it was the backhand shot as time is running down for the Midland High Chemics. And that was it. Smith, did it come from the left-hand side? No, uh, it looks like the backhand shot up and over. We'll find out for sure. That extra man proven beneficial. Dow not able to man up with everybody, left somebody by himself. Pulling the goalie at the right time for the Midland High Chemex. And we'll take a look again at the game tying goal for the Midland High Chemex. And I believe no. Thomas Smith. I'm not sure if this was Smitty out here. No. Hard to tell from that angle, but we'll see what Ron has to say. We'll find out for sure who got the. Uh, Credit for the Midland High Chemics tying things up with 11 seconds to play. Give for away. the Dow High Chargers, charging in was Loftus. Five seconds to play behind Comiskey. Clock is running down, and this game is going to end at a 3 3 tie. Here's the call. The goal by number 19, Forest Parsh. And actually, they're going to give the goal, that last goal, to Forest Parsh. That's the reason I saw the nine, but it was actually 19. All right. So we'll give credit where credit is due. Our apologies for not right. knowing ahead of time. And uh, uh, you know what, Bessie? I'm going to stand corrected here minute, because we're playing overtime. overtime. Eight-minute overtime, non-valley game, non-league game. 17-minute periods. 17-minute <laughs> <laughs> periods, eight-minute overtime. I... Uh, I definitely apologize. I was under the impression that uh, we did not have overtime in high school hockey, but uh, they have got eight minutes up on the clock and we're gonna play overtime. Yep, penalties like have it. expired. We're back to five on five. You know, the, the momentum might have swung a little bit, but Dow High, just when you think the momentum switched, comes right back down, gets a great scoring opportunity to win with three seconds left. Absolutely. I, I tell you what, I, I've never been a fan of games ending in a tie. Especially one played with this much heart and emotion back and forth and as even as this game's been played. I'm surprised eight minutes, though. I figured they'd go, you know, five minutes or four minutes, but then, you know, add extra two minutes. Oh, Who knows? They, they've let the Midland fans down by the glass. They did. They they opened up the uh, the Midland High section for the Midland High Chemex moving into the front row, and they are pumped up because they have got momentum on their side with the Forest Parsh scoring a game-tying goal with 11 seconds to play in this contest. What a job with a empty net and an extra skater. Midland High takes advantage of it. Forest Parsh able to put the puck in the net, ties it up with 11 seconds to play, and now we are in to overtime. Sudden death overtime, eight-minute period, and... Uh, I'll tell you what, this is uh, this is all the excitement that, <laughs> that one body can handle here. Well, I tell you what, we've talked about it off and on all day. Right place, right time, and finish. Looks but like an icing. And as you mentioned, the penalties are all expired, so everybody is at uh, full strength for this overtime period. Loftus back on the ice, uh, or back available beyond the ice. Smith back available beyond the ice, some of the big goal scorers. Midland High winning the faceoff. Alex Goodwin with a shot that goes wide to Derek Stryker. Dow High tries to clear it across Odd the blue line. Rush. Chargers with a three-on-one advantage, trying to center it up and too far ahead. Ethan Loftus is looking for Sam Brueschaber, but could not get the puck to him. Midland High now coming back in the other direction. Shane Dunsmore behind the net. He's hit hard by Mike Leslie. Dow High. Able to recover, puts it back into neutral ice. Now it's Bruce Schaber across the blue line, but he has stood up defensively by Tony Moody. Great back and forth action, just like you'd expect in this overtime. Well, Nobody's this, laying back, everybody's going for broke. Well, this has been a tremendous game, back and forth, goal for goal. They have exchanged goals one after another, tying this up. Now the next goal will decide it. Seven minutes left here in overtime. Dow High clearing to neutral ice. Travis McNally across the blue line. McNally with his shot goes to the left-hand side. And now well, we've got a whistle. I'm not sure why. The puck was, I wonder if the official thought that Kaminsky had the puck covered up. He didn't. Uh, it looked like he said, I got it thought in, your, in your hand, in your glove. So it's the only thing I can think of is he thought Kaminsky had the puck. 
to the left-hand side goes the face-off, and it's going to be won by the Midland High Chemics. But McNally able to steal it back, then the Chemics steal it away. The puck resting on neutral ice. Now it's in front of the Midland High bench. Chemics able to skate it into the zone. Ryan Singer on the left-hand side. His shot deflected. Dow High looks to clear it out. They eventually do to neutral ice. Now the Dow High charger. Zach Paisley across the blue line has hit knocked away. Dow High able to keep it into the zone. Matt Lee behind the net looking for Loftus. Loftus trying to center things up. The battle goes into the corner. Now it's cleared out. We're going to have, oh, we're not going to have icing. They're going to wave it off, and we're going to continue play. Six minutes to go here in overtime. Dow High goes across into the neutral ice. Chargers working the puck as Steve Roberts drops it behind the Midland High goal. Tried to clear it out was Nick Aid, but he was unable to do so. Now the Midland High Chemics, Diggison into the boards. Dow High trying to wrestle the puck away from the Chemics. Next goal will decide this contest. Midland High across the blue line on the left hand side, oh skating it my. in, but unable to come up. Elliot Diggison couldn't get hit. the stick turned around, had a golden chance and an open net, and Diggison unable to convert. He needed about an extra inch on that reach there, and this thing could have been over. Nice pass, nice play. We keep on playing. There you see Derek Stryker, the Dow High goalie. Had a terrific year last year, and Stryker is just a junior in net for the Dow High Chargers. 5.20 to play here in OT, all tied up 3-3. Three to three. Dow High coming across the other way. Forrest Parsh looking to drop it down. Backhand chance, Parsh right there in the right place again. Centers it up one more time. Midland will come back the other direction. Ryan Singer with a shot. Off the and post. It goes off the top post. I don't think Stryker saw it, but the post makes the stop for the Chargers. Under five minutes to play in overtime. And we're going to have a whistle and a stop of play. Yeah, Rico Angel closing his hand on that puck, holding it a little too long. Big face off coming up to the right of Stryker. We'll see what happens. This high school overtime is being played five on five. I kind of like the college four on four, but. Definitely opens the ice up a little bit more. They but these guys are doing a great job going goal line to goal line here. Well, this has been a great overtime. This has been a great game. Both of these teams playing early here in the season. They'll meet again come mid-February. A lot of hockey will be played between now and then, but both of these teams off to very similar starts. Both of these teams having a great season so far, and both of these teams playing a terrific Midland Dow ice hockey game. Four and a half minutes to play here in overtime. Mike Leslie will end up clearing it out to Bruce Schaber. Bruce Schaber across the blue line, shot deflected away by Kamiski. Puck stays alive as they go into the boards onto the near side. Midland High will come out with it. Dunsmore working across the blue line, knocked away by Loftus. Now, more times than not, you see a turnover or a mistake that costs you an overtime goal. We'll see if these guys can uh, put something pretty together or if we're going to have a turnover. The Midland High Chemex working across the blue line. Puck ends up being loose. The Chemex trying to keep it in play, and they do. Shane Dunsmore tries to backhand things away. 3.45 to play here in overtime. Dow High Chargers tries to clear it, can't do it. Dow High still maintaining possession of the puck as they look to set things up. Now they drop into neutral ice. Only for a brief second. Now we're into the Midland High zone. Dow High trying to come up with the steal. Puck is loose. Dow High tries to center things up. Steve Roberts unsuccessful in Midland High now with a oh, two-on-one advantage. Midland High looking to skate it in. Striker with a great save. Steve Trombley caught the Chargers on a line change, skated it right in, and Derek Stryker saves. The puck sat in front of the net for a few seconds. The Chemics could not get to it. Doesn't get any closer than that without actually going in. Looks like Naples right there on the doorstep to put this thing in, but just can't close the deal. Great save by Stryker. Great move to start this thing. 
comes in, puts the puck on net like you're supposed to. Rebound comes out. Naples with big eyes. Just quite can't get a stick on it. Good defensive play there by the Chargers to make sure that he couldn't get a stick on the puck. Great save by Derek Stryker. 3.15 to play here in overtime. The faceoff will end up being won by the Dow High Chargers. Shot taken from the blue line. Dow High coming up with a clear, and now it's the Chargers on a breakaway chance. Zach Paisley feeding it back through from the corner, and the shot goes wide to the left-hand side. Both teams have had great chances here in overtime. Three minutes to play in OT. Well, we talked about a deflection here, a turnover there. Get a little deflection. Next thing you know, you had a two-on-one, almost game-ending goal. Face-off is going to be to the right-hand side for the Midland High Chemex. And the Chemex win the face-off. They will send it all the way down in icing will be called three to three is where we stand. Travis McNally, Ethan Loftus, and Brett Brillhard with the three goals for Dow High. Here's another look, Vezzi. Watch that crossing pass, just like the first goal that the Chemex scored. Right place, right time. Bouncing puck, though. He couldn't quite get all of it. Just shot the puck just barely wide. Midland High, their three goals. Thomas Smith, Elliot Diggison, and Forrest Parsh are the three that have scored for the Chemex, and that's where we are, three to three, and the back and forth battle continues, 2.45 to play here in overtime. And those three you just mentioned down the ice for the Chemex with the faceoff deep in the Charger zone. Thomas Smith will take the faceoff for the Midland High Chemex, and he will win the faceoff to Anthony Moody, who could not get the shot off. Now Dow High coming up with the steal and on another break, Zach Paisley across the blue line and a, Comiskey lost it. He thought he had a kick save. Comiskey didn't know where the puck was and that almost dribbled into the net. That definitely almost ended the game right there. Kind of, you know, fluttered on him. He wasn't sure what happened, but right now Dick Blaze is a little upset. The Chemex put the puck off, or put the net off the post. He's probably looking for delay a game. Yeah, let's take a look at this again. The the shot, Kaminsky thought he had the kick save for a while, and the puck just ends up going right between his legs. It is just dangling there in the crease. Kaminsky deflected it away, and then uh, kind of the collision into the boards, and the shot taken there. I thought originally that Dick Blasey may have had a, uh, a legitimate gripe, but looking at the replay, I don't think, uh, I don't think there was uh, intentionally no, no. knocking the... Uh, the net off the peg. Nope, no intention, and plus it uh, was already harmlessly behind the net, so he Another, wasn't saving a goal there. Another breakaway, and now the Midland High Kimmicks coming back the other direction. The replay proving the officials to be correct again. Chargers yeah. almost getting caught in another line change there with an odd man rush, but able to get the man on, you know, without harm. Two minutes to go here in overtime. Dow High across the blue line, Davis Mahalan has the puck stolen away by John Evans. Evans will center it over to Shane Dunsmore. Dunsmore losing it briefly, tries to recover. Now he skates across the blue line. He gets hit in the board by Loftus. Dow High back in the neutral ice for the Chemex take back over. 135 here in overtime. Dow High across the blue line. Loftus being nailed from behind by Shane Dunsmore. No penalty coming. We play on with 125 on the clock. Midland High, Alex Goodwin will dump it into the Dow High zone. What a great game. Across the blue line again into neutral ice. Chargers will drop it back. Dow High will keep it in the Midland High zone and Comiskey will have to send it over to the right hand side. One minute left in overtime. All knotted up three, two, three. Cleared back out, the Midland High Chemex. Now this time, Dow High will put it back into the Midland High zone, but Chemex quickly will clear it out the other way. Center ice Loose turnovers. Puck. Dow High, here comes Zach Paisley across the blue line, but Midland High's defense converging on Paisley. 35 seconds to play. Midland High able to clear it out. Breakaway for the Chemex. Elliot Diggerson trying to backhand, looking for help. Now drops it over to Ryan Singer. Singer shot, and Stryker able to deflect it away. Good patience shown there by Diggison, you know, finding that trailer. Striker just getting enough to keep this thing zero. 25 seconds. Another very, very important faceoff. 
to the right. Now the Midland High Kimmicks tied this game up with 11 seconds left in regulation. We've got 25 seconds left to play now, and Midland High is going to utilize their timeout. Well, this is where you get the chalkboard out and, you know, find out where you want everybody. This is a very, very important draw. Kemmicks obviously going to try to win it back for possession to get a shot on goal. Chargers going to try to win in the corner, keep that puck from out front of the net. Great contest if you take a look at Jeff Brown and the Midland High Kemmicks. Both teams trying to come up. Midland High will have a little bit of an advantage to face off in the Dow High zone. This game being produced by MCTV Volunteers. If you want to work on exciting athletic events such as this, all you have to do is become an MCTV Volunteer. The next orientation will be on Saturday, January the 12th. We also have orientations on February 9th and March the 9th. Three great chances to become an MCTV Volunteer. The cost is $45, which includes the first year access user fee. For more information, call 837-3474. And uh, the great staff down at MCTV will let you know how you can become a volunteer if you give them a call. And uh, I tell you what, it can be a lot of fun. We've got a great crew here volunteering their time. And uh, nothing like being able to watch competitive uh, high school sports such as what we are watching here tonight. Three to three with 25 seconds left here in overtime. The faceoff to the right-hand side. Dow High winning the faceoff. The deflection briefly went off a Dow High skate. Now the charge is clearer, but Midland High will come back the other way. Tony Moody looking to center it up, and Dow High able to break it up. We're down to 10 seconds here in OT. Centers it up, looking for Singer. Dow High deflects it away. Great job by Roberts. Into neutral life, down to three seconds. Midland High clears it away to Dickerson, and overtime comes to an end here at the Civic Arena. Travis McNally never knew how important he'd be right up to that last play when he had to make sure that puck didn't get across. Great defensive play right there in the end. Well, there is no shootout in high school hockey, so we are going to end. I didn't even know there was overtime in high school hockey until uh, the team stayed out on the ice, but there is no shootout at high school hockey, Vezzi, so this game is going to end as a 3-3 three to three tie. But I tell you what, it, it may have been a tie, but this was one great entertaining contest. Both teams taking advantage of the momentum. Both teams with just some, some good puck control, good shots on goal, right place, right time. I'm sure they both got this game video too, so there's going to be a lot of good learning to come from this for the rest of the season before these two teams match up again. Yeah, it's going to be a, a great contest when these two teams meet towards the end of the season. Let's take a look at some of the action that took place during our overtime. This is the uh, shot that Comiskey lost track of that was just kind of laying there in the crease. Dow High's best scoring chance, and Comiskey finally realized he didn't have it and was able to uh, sweep it away and come up with the uh, the save. But, you know, both of these players, I'm sure, or all the players out on the ice, I'm sure, would want, you know, a win or a loss. Tying is uh, never fun, but Jeff Brown, Dick Blasey, the two respective coaches, no doubt they're going to be able to uh, look down and say, you know what, we're going to learn from this game, and this is going to do nothing but help out both of these teams for their hockey season. Well, definitely. I mean, if you're the Chemex, you're you're thinking this game's over as time's winding down, and you get that, that dramatical game-tying score. So you're a little more happy, I'm guessing, that the tie's here. You know, the Chargers, though, having that, that lead, the final seconds of the game, that's always tough. Exactly, yeah. That's something that uh, Dick Blasey definitely is going to be able to uh, to talk about here uh, momentarily. Is is going to be you know how how do you uh, keep that from happening in the future? Because Midland High did tie this game up with about 11 seconds left. Well, absolutely, and I don't know if they could do anything different anyway. You know, you're outnumbered six to five. You got Forrest Parsh, big senior out front, right place, right time. Great shot. I mean, let's not forget that shot goes dome. You know, a lot of times you flick that puck on net, striker's going to make that save, or it's going to go over the net or something. So you got a great shot, six on five, everything right. Tell you what, Vessi, it does not get any better than this, and uh, both of these teams play their home games here at the Civic Arena. So uh, be sure, you know, hop online, find out the uh, the schedules, find out when these teams are playing. Come on down and support these teams that uh, are playing hard. Oh, absolutely. Great hockey, great fun. 
uh, the action back and forth here tonight. This is finally, you've got two great teams that are going to be fun to watch all year. Yeah, and this is definitely going to be a wide open Saginaw Valley. For Dow High, Travis McNally, Ethan Loftus, and Brett Brillhart putting the three goals on the board. Midland High scoring with uh, Thomas Smith, Elliot Dickerson, and Forrest Parsh as the three men that put the puck in the net. And this game ending in a 3-3 tie. These two teams uh, on the on par right now to have a terrific uh, season. They will meet again in the middle of February. We want to thank our entire MCTV crew for doing a great job tonight, volunteering their time to bring ice hockey here to MCTV and to MPS TV. Our winter sports coverage will continue in January. We will have a basketball doubleheader coming up in late January. Then we've got boys swimming coming your way in the middle of February. And of course, in the middle of February also means Dow Corning Tennis Championship as well as our winter sports here on MCTV and MPS television. For our entire crew and for my broadcast partner, Mike Vesta, my name is Jason Harper. The final score tonight, Dow High, Midland High, they lock up at three goals apiece. Thanks for tuning in. Have a terrific day.